everyone, welcome back to the B Movie Bunker. Continuing our 31 Days of Horror, we look at the 2017 film Temple, brought to us by Michael Barrett. With a story of three Americans who venture off into the Japanese wilderness looking for an ancient temple that the locals claim to be unlucky. And of course, because they're Westerners, uh, like we always do, we ignore the warnings of the locals and go seeking out the danger, always, almost always to disastrous effect. Um, this movie is. It's beautifully shot. Uh, some of the cinematography and the imagery it captures is really gorgeous. And, and I, I say from a production standpoint, they did an incredible job on a lot of things in this movie. However, the story itself, uh, it feels kind of lacking of depth at times. And at times, I mean, most of the film, it seems to lack depth. The characters seem to lack any real depth. And it, it almost feels like they were trying to, you know, copy that, that Japanese... Kind of style with you know, of, of Asian horror, where it's that kind of slow and deliberate build uh, that is always you know leaves that kind of feeling. This is like strangely mysterious, you know, it's odd, it's it's curious, and it's like feels like that's what they were going for, except they didn't quite get there. I mean, the movie's fairly short; it's like seventy-eight minutes long, um, and a chunk of that is credits in the beginning and then a little bit at the end. So I mean, you're looking like maybe seventy minutes of actual film footage, and it, it takes a long time getting anywhere, really. Um, with characters that you really don't feel any real connection to, it's, they're, they're the typical generic throwaway characters you get in all of these types of horror movies. Um, and, and by the time it finally gets somewhere, it feels rushed to get through within, like, like they had to make it within a certain time. Where it's like, oh, we've only got nine minutes left, quick, do something. And, and that's how it feels. It's like, all of a sudden it's like, you know, going, 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 going. Aha! Done! It's it ends rather abruptly, like like they just like they ran out of money or like the project wasn't finished, but they they just said, well, we did this much, we have to put something out there, um, which is kind of sad. And you know, like I said, it's beautiful, but it's it's missing something. It's like I grew up in the suburbs, and and uh, so many people in the suburbs. There's there's art is nature art is a big thing, and I have seen so many paintings of ducks and geese and you know everyone who's an up and coming painter in the suburbs it seems that that is a requirement that you must paint ducks and geese and this one feels a bit like that where it's like at times you can look at it and say well this person has obvious artistic talent I mean if you look at the way that they use the oils and, and everything looks really good and you can see there's some good style and, and good form in their painting but in the end it's just a painting of a goose or two geese flying over a lake that's a theme that I've seen a lot of time before but there's nothing really deep to it. It doesn't really move you in any specific way. It's just like, oh, it's it's geese. And that's how I finally feel about this movie. It's like, oh, it's a movie in Japan. And it doesn't really, you know, draw anything really out of me, which is what I was hoping for with this one when I first saw the description of it. But that yeah, could just be me. Um, that's all I really got to say about this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.